Across the world, climate change is turning people's lives upside down, often with tragic consequences. We know that climate change is definitely happening and the rate of change seems to be accelerating. What will the world look like in 40 or 60 years time? And how can we protect people and the rest of life on Earth from the worst impacts of what's now recognised to be a global problem? The solutions will require communities, scientists, governments and businesses to work together. And all of us have a role to play in meeting this global challenge. We need to inspire everyone to act and do the right thing on an individual and a corporate level. And we must grasp every tool at our disposal to turn the tide and reduce the impact of climate change. One of the tools that can help to reduce the impact of climate change on communities and ecosystems is information. Information is something we have in abundance in our modern world. The world has never been so well mapped in data. That data gives us insight, and that insight can be put to good use in the real world to mitigate risk and protect people. It turns out there's an unlikely ally in this quest for predictive big data on climate change and it's the insurance industry. For obvious reasons, insurers have been investing heavily in disaster prediction for decades. This ongoing investment in knowledge has seen them employ and team up with amazing meteorologists, hydrologists, seismologists, and other scientists. The result, data in abundance, lots of it. And this data is enabling the insurance industry to develop incredible tools and models that help to predict natural trends. It makes sense. The insurance industry has access to a wealth of data that is critical to better understanding the potential physical and non-physical risks posed by climate change, such as shifts in carbon pricing and ensuring green investments. And these insights can save lives and diminish suffering. Companies all over the world rely on such data to make critical decisions. Let's see how the food and drink industry is preparing for the potential impact of climate change. My name is Alex Smith. I'm the founding director of Alara. At Alara, sustainability is absolutely at the core of the business. And I'm very proud to say, as well as now being plastic free brand, we're the very first cereal company to launch net zero carbon cereal products. My name is Emma Piercy and I work for the Food and Drink Federation. The risks that we see are very much about both responding to the causes of climate change, but also being able to adapt to the consequences of it. And we can see that in a multitude of different ways. Climate chaos is absolutely the most devastating event that could happen to the whole biodiversity of the planet. Our coconut crop this year was completely devastated by typhoons in the Philippines. So those supply chains and the integrity of the food is really being compromised for us by climate chaos at the moment. When we look at weather patterns, forecasting of those and then looking into purchasing arrangements that companies have you know, for their ingredients, this is going to be really important in terms of that modelling aspect. The food industry has a complete reliance on agricultural crops which are being hit most by climate change. So getting data in from the insurance industry to help mitigate, understand and prepare for these effects would really be a very key partnership in my mind. There's a phrase, you can't manage what you can't measure. So if you first get the data and better forecasting, you can then look at, well, how do you manage that risk? This industry can then help with food manufacturers to come up with financial products which can help hedge that increasingly volatile climate risk. So anything that we can do to, to help manage that for everyone is going to be uh, really uh, significant and important. 
Climate change is going to require us to adapt our lives and our businesses in many ways. As the fingerprint of climate change becomes more evident, homeowners and businesses will have to choose whether or not to stay in areas known to be at great risk. Climate change will affect insurability. That means a re-evaluation of where and how we build in the future. In the 21st century, global weather and climate-related events have led to $4.7 trillion of direct economic damage or loss from more than 6,200 events. And the insurance industry has covered $1.4 trillion of those economic costs. Having access to more predictive information will help to lessen this kind of financial and all too human impact. More data, big data, the kind of data that insurers and their consultants now have at their disposal. This data is a precious resource. It can empower businesses and governments to do the right thing. So let's collaborate. We can achieve more if we work together. Insights collated by the insurance industry about large-scale threats represent a global resource. It makes sense to grasp that opportunity and use it. To help make insurers' predictive risk modelling as good as it can be, Aon, a leader in this field, has teamed up with Columbia University to analyse climate change data. Columbia University recently opened the Columbia Climate School. Here's Aeon's meteorologist, Steve Bowen, to tell us more about this partnership with Columbia University. How does Columbia University help Aeon to make these predictions which are so essential to people's lives and livelihoods? Columbia University's expertise in climate modelling and forecasting actually complements the work that we do at Aeon very well. As we know, tropical cyclones remain the costliest and the most visible peril and showing different climate change scenarios through the lens of an impact forecasting model really will help our clients see how future cyclone behavior and the frequency may differ from today's current atmospheric and oceanic environment. So what is Aeon doing to try to anticipate how things will change in the future? I'd say that building to meet the impacts of yesterday is no longer a recipe to handle the impacts of tomorrow, especially as event behavior grows more severe. If you want to save money in the future, you need to invest today to anticipate hazard impacts accurately. That's a vital part of what Aon does and how it can help people. It's really interesting to hear from meteorologist Steve Bowen. And now we're going to hear from Aon CEO Greg Case. Greg has had this overview of the way that data is helping businesses to be better informed and make better decisions. Decisions that have real world consequences. Our clients are clear. The world is more volatile and interconnected than ever before. That's why it's critical to have the ability to use data analytics and combine it with our own expertise to create predictive models and solutions that help our clients make better decisions. Recent research we conducted backs up Steve's point about preparation. It shows that the failure to prepare for these increasingly severe risks has significant business and reputational impacts. And by building for the better, we also help protect and enrich the lives of people around the world. Climate change is arguably the biggest challenge that humanity has had to face. We must use all the tools at our disposal. And that's where the insurance industry has a vital role to play by using their data, insight and foresight, along with our own responsible actions. Whilst climate change is very real and scary, we mustn't become despondent. We have to do our best to meet this challenge, to work together to find solutions, to reduce harmful emissions, to find ways of living sustainably on this beautiful planet. Through the decisions we make and the actions we take now, we can hope to leave the world a better place for future generations.